Animal Magic and Gemini, introduced by Johnny Morris and Terry Nutkins. This program was first shown during the afternoon sequence on BBC One. This is BBC Two. This afternoon, we have a little company. Well, I'll show you. It's very remote, very desolate, and with lots of wildlife, but very few people. Gemini lives with me in a big white house right beside the sea. It was early morning on a very important day for Gemini. Oh, Protected by a thick layer of fat, Gemini had recently invented a new way of getting downstairs. And not really very ladylike. Good. Because you want toast now, do you want toast? Mm. No, nah, all right. Well, that's your breakfast finished, isn't it? That's your breakfast finished. Eh? Go out into the garden then, shall we? So you've sort of passed that stage of being carried everywhere by now. Oh. Anyway, did you have a nice breakfast? Eh? Did you? You want to go down to the burn, that's it, isn't it? Mm. There you go. Let's have a look at your teeth. Oh, they're big teeth now, aren't they? Yeah? Aren't they? No excuse now for not eating whole herring, madam. Mm. These daily play sessions are very important for Gemini. She accepts me as a mother, of course. But because she's been hand-reared, she's still totally reliant on me. But one of the ways to make her feel secure is by letting her touch me, play with me, even sit on top of me. The result of all this is that she's now a very happy and contented animal. But my dog Bonnie, on the other hand, is a bit jealous. Oh. I think you're just doing this as an excuse for kissing, you know, aren't you? Hey? Ooh. Well, this isn't really the environment for a Californian sea lion. But for those of you that watched the last series of Animal Magic, you may remember that Gemini was abandoned by her mother and I had to hand rear her. Well, I had a choice. Either I hand reared her or else she died. And that was a year ago now. And Gemini now is on the northwest coast of Scotland and what I want to do is introduce her to the sea. And what I would like eventually is for Gemini to get her own food, get her own fish, uh, to swim freely in the ocean and come back when she wants to and uh, follow the boat. But to do this, you can't just plonk her in the middle of the ocean. You've got to get her adapted very slowly. So the, the plan now, the plan of action, is to introduce her to a mountain stream. Right, we're off. You going to stay in the back? Yes? <coughs> OK. Watch your nose. mountain stream and I'm really quite nervous about this because I have no idea what she's going to do. Come on Gemini. Come on, slide down there. Come on. She's also not used to Heather so I'll give her a hand. Come on darling. Come on. Oh. Look at this. Oh. That's water. Now, there we are. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Hand it out, give it a hand. Oh! <laughs> a bit like the Loch Ness Monster there. Back up like that. Very cautious, just not going under at all. To my absolute amazement, Gemini took to the stream almost immediately. But what really fascinated her was the underwater world of the riverbed. Pebbles, rocks, and of course, fast flowing water. Come on. It was so different from the sterile bottom of a man made pool, which is all most captive sea lions know. I reckon you need an umbrella when that sea lion's about. Brought up by these two beautiful... Davy, Peter, Mike and Mickey get up to in The Monkeys.